Hey folks, Monkey King Gamer here, and we're here to discuss how to complete the Legendary Clue 4 quest, which, as we can see if we go over to the bag, and go over to key items, uh, it's down the bottom, isn't it? Hold on a second, there we go. Legendary Clue with a question mark, okay, Legendary Clue 4. <clears throat> as you can see with the image, I uh, don't know if I can really zoom in here, I'll try and do it quickly, nope, doesn't look like possible. Uh, you can see in the image, uh, there's an ultra wormhole over the layer, and if you look very carefully into it, you can see that it's Necrozma. Necrozma is the Pokemon you need to find in order to complete this quest. Actually, finding Necrozma is another thing, though. Um, so, Necrozma is pretty random, and what I tend to do, I tend to go into solo-only raids and look for a psychic type, because Necrozma is psychic. If I see that Necrozma, if I see a psychic type, again, I'll go all the way to end. If not, I'll instantly back out, leave the lair, and then go and do another one. Rinse and repeat in doing that. Also, when you go to a lair, you can come over to Peony's daughter here, Peonia, and sometimes she'll go, I found X. If at any point she says, oh, I found Necrozma, do you want me to show it is? Pay it. Pay the money, give her the whatever she wants, and then instantly go into the raid and finish it. Then, as soon as you have Necrozma, you need to come over to here, where Peony is. Say, have a look, we've Necrozma in your party, and he'll basically read off some description, and it'll be over, and then that's it, it's done. Necrozma does that, you finish all the quests, and the main stuff is done, which will then allow you to get things like Poipole and other things into the main story. So do keep that in mind. Anyway, hope that helps you out, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.